Welcome back to Made Up. It's your girl Diane and today we are going to be doing a wear test for this Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion SPF 30 with sunflower extract. Normally my sunscreen of choice is a mineral sunscreen. This one is a little bit different because this is not a mineral sunscreen. So this is not a physical sunscreen. This one is a chemical sunscreen and I tend to avoid chemical sunscreens just because I have had some issues with them in the past, whether it be clogging my pores or just not feeling or looking good on the skin. I just have kind of an issue with it. I just don't prefer it. But this one had really good reviews and I was definitely interested. It's at a really great price point. This is $32. However, you are getting 5.5 ounces or 162 mLs on this. So that is actually a lot of sunscreen. If you compare it to what I normally use, it's right on par with being, dare I say it, a drugstore price. Cause this is just a heap, heap full of sunscreen here. So I definitely wanted to give this a shot since it had such good reviews. I have been trying out this product for I would say about two weeks now, so a good amount of time. I've worn it without makeup and of course with makeup. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a wear test with makeup since typically that is my preference. So sunscreen would go on right after your moisturizer as the last step in your skincare routine and of course right before the primer, which is the first step of your makeup routine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get this hairpin back. That'll work. Let's go ahead and get her open. So it's a twist off cap like this, which you may or may not like. Normally, I don't like twist off caps like this, especially for a product you're gonna be, you know, picking back up and everything like that. But I don't mind it so much in this. It's a really easy twist off cap, so. I like that. So I'm gonna just get a little bit on my on my fingers there. I'm gonna rub it between my fingers, get it all over the face. I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon on my face and then also a quarter teaspoon on my neck. Just so, oof, it's coming out quick today. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna put more on than what I thought. I put a little bit on my neck already because this thing kind of exploded, but let's just put a little bit more just to be on the safe side. So I think we did over the amount this time, but that's okay. Sometimes it can be a problem with pilling if you put too much on, but we should be fine. This is a, you know, it isn't a physical sunscreen, so I really haven't had an issue with this one pilling at all. Okay, so I've got sunscreen on my neck and my face, you know, anywhere that's exposed for the day. I should mention there is a little bit of a smell on this, not as bad as a traditional sunscreen. It definitely smells a little bit like sunscreen, but it does say it has sunflower extract in it. I don't know if that helps with the smell or what ingredients help with the smell so it's definitely lighter than your average sunscreen it, it is nice to put on as you could see it, it's more of a liquidy formula than a lot of other sunscreens it doesn't leave a white cast or anything like that that's only really typical with physical sunscreens you know it's a little bit different so it doesn't stay on the skin the idea is that it is supposed to absorb into the skin at least the active ingredients I will tell you that it stays pretty tacky or sitting on the surface of your skin for quite some time. I wore this yesterday without any makeup on. I was brave. <laughs> and it definitely stayed tacky probably for at least the first hour to two hours. And then at that point, it was kind of time for me to reapply. So I just put more on, but it's not as uncomfortable as you would think. It's not that bad. I, I like it so far. It hasn't been terrible, but it does stay on the skin a little bit. I am going to do a full face of makeup for the most part, probably an everyday type look. And then we will check back in when the makeup's on and see how everything came together. All right guys, so that is the finished look. I will say that once you put on makeup and you get everything powdered down, obviously that tackiness that I mentioned in the sunscreen before goes down and your makeup goes on perfectly. I didn't really have any issues. So we are gonna do a wear test 
and see how long we can get this makeup to last or see if it doesn't. So let's go ahead and start that wear test. We will do a kind of a midway check-in and see how the makeup's doing. All right, so it is way past midday check-in. I was supposed to check in around the four hour mark. That's normally when I like to do the midday check-ins, but it's six hours in. I totally spaced. We were out and about right now anyway, and it would have been hard to kind of do a check-in because it's pitch dark out here. It gets so dark so quickly now. I'm sure that's true for a lot of you. So that is the makeup. Everything still looks good. Like I said, I've been wearing this sunscreen now for you know, almost two weeks, and I haven't noticed that my makeup has broken down any quicker, maybe just a little around the nose, but really nothing significant. So this is six hours in and my makeup looks still pretty good. So I'll do one more check-in in the late evening and we'll see how it goes. All right, friends, this is the end of the night. I have been wearing this makeup for about nine hours now. So we've definitely had some breakdown along the nose area and the chin, but in all fairness, we were watching a movie a little while ago and I caught myself like touching my face. And normally I wouldn't touch my face that much, but it, it was like a scary show. So this amount of breakdown doesn't normally happen. I have been testing out the product. So I think the overall face still looks good. We ran some errands, I used a mask, and the makeup looks really good still, except for the breakdown in this area. But I honestly believe that was just from me getting touchy, which I shouldn't do, and I caught myself a few times. So I really have been enjoying it so far, and it's been ages since I've used a chemical sunscreen, so I was really pleasantly surprised about this product. You know, you get a whole heap in here, like we said earlier, 5.5 fluid ounces. Definitely happy with this product. I'm going to continue to use it and see if it continues to work well, if I start seeing any issues or clogged pores, because sometimes that can happen for me with chemical sunscreens. So we'll keep playing with this one. That's all I have for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun shooting this today. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. Till next time, bye.